let's chat about decision making. Now, there's a thought that I've been having here that I, I think is worth exploring. Before we evaluate options and really try to decide what is perfect in a given situation, there are a couple tests that our ideas first have to pass. And the first big thing is, is this thing that I'm thinking, is this potential solution, is this, this possible decision we could make, is it okay? Is it cool? Is it right? Is it moral? Is it ethical? Whatever terminology you want to put to it, is it okay if I do this thing? If it doesn't pass that test, then it's not ready to move on to the next level in which we would examine, will it be effective? How much will it cost? Um, are there you know, more uh, efficient other options? Are there ways we can tweak this, blah, blah, blah. We don't even get to that second stage of forming a pros and cons list, all these things. We don't get there if our idea, if our concept does not pass that first test. So an example would be, I want an apple and one possible solution, one possible decision I could make would be, I'm going to go to the neighbor's house to their apple tree and I'm going to steal an apple. So before we evaluate how much effort this will take, chances of getting caught, blah, blah, blah. Let's first say, is it okay if I do that? Well, no, that's initiating violence against someone's property. That's stealing. Stealing is wrong. Now, could I say, well, maybe it's okay in this circumstance because he has a lot of apples and I really like apples. Mm, no. Uh, could we say, well, if I eat the apple, then I'll be nourished and therefore I can do a lot of good for a lot of people. No. Stealing is not acceptable. It is never acceptable. Even if really, really, really cool things can be purchased with the money that's stolen or if the apple gives me fuel to do really, really cool things it doesn't pass that test. Stealing is not okay. Now, the reason I bring this up is that this is a, a fallacy that I used to fall for. I used to have, I used to participate in, in, in this fallacy. And I would say to myself, I would say, well, you know, I, I hear this idea that government is force that some i don't know domestic terrorist or whoever some guy i don't know who it was somebody said that years ago and and it was an anti-government thing to say and and i'm not gonna say that i agree with that because i don't i don't want to risk that kind of you know speaking out against a powerful organization like the government but 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 that idea of government is force and then i thought well yeah but Force is acceptable because if you use that force, then you get to have the things that I want. Like I want roads. I want people who are, are poor and then they lose a leg and they can't work. Like I want them to be taken care of. And there are these things that I want. I, I definitely want to stop uh, the Muslim terraces from hurting everybody and killing everybody because like they hate Americans because Americans have televisions and you know the the our lifestyles that what they want to kill us and so so i thought you know it's okay to steal money call it taxation and then use that money to do the things that i want and i believed that for many many years and and i i use several examples here because i i think that people who identify as being on the right or on the left well they have different things they they want this stolen money spent on but we can't really have the conversation of how should tax money be spent because taxation is stealing. So that's like saying, how should we spend the money that we steal? Well, that shouldn't even be a question that is on the table because stealing is wrong and we should not have stolen in the first place. Right? If, if I'm off base here, then let me know. But I think I'm not. And I find that this is a conversation I used to enter into um, after I kind of realized that, that stealing wasn't okay and that, that moral principles aren't just a, a situational thing. Well, I think I'll, I'll, I'll have this taxation, uh, or not taxation, the theft is wrong, except if it's called taxation. Well, no, you got to be 
consistent. You've got to be intellectually consistent. Well, when I was first getting going in that, I would still argue with people because I was new to this philosophy of intellectual consistency and, and having a principle and sticking with it. And I would argue with people using arguments that hadn't first passed that test of, is it cool, ethical, moral, et cetera. And so that's something that I now know not to do. I can't discuss the best way to carry apples that I've stolen from a tree because that discussion shouldn't happen because the thing that necessarily precedes it is a bad thing. And I choose not to do bad things. I choose not to do things that are wrong. So I can't even get there in a conversation. Am I right? Am I wrong? Let me know if you disagree, if you have a good rational argument, I would certainly love to hear it. And uh, gosh, if I'm wrong, gosh, 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 I would love to update my thinking so that my thinking is accurate and true and correct and, and spot on. So thanks for helping me with that. Hey, speaking of helping me, would you mind giving a thumbs up to this video if it was of value? And if you'd like to hear more like this, please do subscribe.